my gorgeous Capricorns. This is Debs and this is your reading for June 2024. Capricorn, I hope you're well. It is really lovely to be with you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Now Capricorn, in meditation I simply saw someone looking at the phone thinking, who on earth is that? Who on earth is that? It was a message that suggested meeting at some bar around the corner. That's all that I could make out from this message. Hey, how are you? Long time. Do you want to meet over the weekend at that bar around the corner? Now, it could be that this is an ex that pops up from nowhere. Right, guys? It could be this is someone who assumes that you still live in the same town, you go to the same places, and maybe Capricorn, either this was a long time ago, and you're thinking to yourself, my goodness, that person's still there? Wow, in the same area, doing the same thing? My goodness. It could be Capricorn, this was just a couple of years ago, but so much has happened in the last two years, you don't recognise yourself, right? <laughs> So whatever this is, guys, uh, there could be a return from the past. It's going to make you smile. I'm not getting anything too heavy. OK, guys, so let's jump in. Let's jump in. Capricorn can't speak today and see where this takes us. Um, everything you need, guys, is down below. The link to my website if you'd like a reading, all the decks and the link to join the channel, too. So Capricorn, whether you are male or female, whether you're in your 60s or in your 20s, um, there's going to be someone arriving from the past that's going to cause you to slip back in time. Yeah. So Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, June 2024. What do we have for my lovely Capricorns? Now, Cabby, I don't know, you could be reaching out to someone. It could be reversed. Sometimes my readings are switched. Okay. But whoever this person is, Capricorn, um, I feel this is someone you have met before. I don't actually think it's you. They've obviously got you on their mind. So something's triggered them to pick up the phone and send you a message. All right. King of Swords. Okay. The Fool. <laughs> Capricorn. Now, it could well be that either you're going to hear from an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or an Aries. What I'm immediately getting here is you looking back thinking, wow, that person was strategic. Oh my goodness, I was a fool. But you're going to do it with a smile on your face because... There's a sense of, I've changed so much since then. And I'm so glad I'm not that person anymore. I'm not that naive, right? <laughs> Capricorn. In the past, the world. So I don't know, you could have met this person travelling. You could have met this person if you lived in another area. But it ended quite quickly and you closed out the cycle and there was almost a sense of relief. That's what I'm getting, Caps. Almost a sense of relief. Oh, OK, so glad that is done with. Well, this person's showing up again. After you closed out that cycle, Capricorn, with the energy of the star, you may have healed yourself. You could have started a wonderful new business. You could have headed up the career ladder, done really, really well. You definitely left this behind. There was a sense of, yeah, never going back to that type of situation again. What you're thinking about, Capricorn, is, my goodness, Seven of Cups. Are they still single? Is this person assuming that I'm still single and um, I'd want to meet up with them for a drink? You're kind of going to be standing there in disbelief. Wow, I've really moved on, but this person hasn't. It may be rather surprising, to say the least. In the immediate future, Capricorn, the moon. You may decide to meet up with this person once, simply out of curiosity. 
I wonder if they still look the same. Because you are going to realise who this person is, Cappy. And you may think to yourself, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go. Why on earth not? Now, of course, guys, if you've moved to another state, another country, it might be a bit tricky. But you may decide just to find out a bit more about this person because some time has passed. Hmm. You may wonder whether or not some old feelings are going to resurface. You're sitting in a little bit of fear in considering this, but curiosity may get the better of you. In your fears, Capricorn, yeah, you are fearing that this person wants to um, relight the fire with you, patch things up with you, get things going again with you. When, Cappy, you may look back and think, I'm not that person anymore. In the environment, Capricorn, yeah, they have been looking back at the past. They remember you from the past. For some of you, this might have been a long time ago. Could have been as much as 10, 15 years ago. For others of you, this may have been seven or eight months ago, but so much has happened since that time that you're a completely different person, you know? What you're hoping for is not to sit in a place of fear. Oh my goodness, are they going to uh, try any tricks with me? Are they going to try and seduce me? You may be a little bit nervous. The outcome, Ace of Cups. Capricorn, this could be you surprisingly deciding to date this person. Because Capricorn, you may be sitting there or standing there reading this message thinking, I'm not the same person anymore. But Capricorn, maybe they're not the same person either, right? People change. And so if you knew this person as a little bit of a Jack the Lad, let's just have some fun, nothing serious, they may now be ready to look for a serious relationship. So as you've changed, they may have done too. Just keep that in mind. So Capricorn, clarification for you, the strength card. What you're telling yourself is, if there's a chance for us to meet up face to face, I'm going to do it. But I'm not going to be tempted to let myself go with this person. Two of Wands. Even though, Cappy, you're standing at crossroads and for those I'm resonating with, you aren't dating anyone at the moment. You're just a little bit cautious. This person's energy, looking at the past, Three of Wands. They definitely remember you, Capricorn. Yes. And there we have that cheeky little message. Page of Wands. Hey, Cappy, remember me? Mm? Do you want to uh, get together? And this is you thinking, oh my goodness, really? I can't believe it. That person's reached out. That was a while ago. Or you may be thinking to yourself, yeah, whew, that was a disaster. <laughs> so Capricorn, underneath the deck, we have the Four of Swords. You may sleep on this. You may think to yourself, I'm not going to reply for 24 hours. I just want to see how I feel. What you do remember, Capricorn, though, is that this person sabotaged the connection with you. You may have felt that this was someone that it might have developed with, only to realise that potentially this is someone who wasn't looking for anything serious. Well, times may have changed, Capricorn. So, guys... Um, it could be a lovely, simple light reading. Let's hope so. The readings for this month have been pretty heavy. Let's get into this and find out where it goes. All right. So Archangel Michael, why is Capricorn sat in the King of Swords and the Fool? Cappy, I think this is you remembering someone you met who was a bit strategic. You may have taken a leap of faith and a risk with this person only to get your fingers burned. Yeah. Yeah. You're coming through as a feminine energy. Queen of coins. Beautiful. What's on your mind, Capricorn? Hmm. 
This person is reaching out. Hey, Cappy, remember me? Do you want to meet up and have a quick drink? Hmm, you're thinking to yourself, wow, that person kept my number. But you may also be sitting in a little bit of nostalgia, remembering that things didn't end well. Because I feel this person ghosted you, sabotaged the connection. But you may be curious. What else are you going to be thinking about, Kathy? Hmm? Yes, you're not quite so sure this is a good idea. Do I want to meet up with this person for a drink or not? You're just feeling a little bit nervous, Capricorn. Okay, the Hermit could be a Virgo. For some of you, you may think, you know what, maybe I should. I've been on my own for too long. I'm not with anyone in particular. What else are you thinking about? The Cappy, you may have just been sat in hermit mode, concentrating on your career. And this is you thinking, well, it might be quite nice. It's a good excuse to put on something decent, get out of the house. You may consider it. So let's have a look at the past. What happened in the past with the energy of the world? The page of coins. Capricorn, this could have been a sort of friends with benefits thing. <laughs> you know, they raced into your life and left just as quickly. Ace of Wands. Guys, I hate to say it. It could have been a one night stand. It could be you met this person, thought, well, hey, this is the one, only to realise that um, they had no intention of dating you for very long. Yeah. Yeah. They raised into your life and left just as fast. You could have connected with a Cancerian in the past. Or this may have been a fleeting connection. Someone that you met in one area and then you moved. Something like that. Whatever this was, you guys didn't get to know each other at a deeper level. After that time, Cats, with the energy of the star, you may have done well. You may have created a wonderful, successful business. You could have worked hard on your career. You moved into a very temperate place into a lot of balance. And if there was any sense of heartbreak about this person from the past or due to this person from the past, you healed. Mm. And you sat in some pretty powerful energy. Manifesting change. Manifesting change, Capricorn. The death card. You changed. You may have changed your job, your situation, your identity. You could have got yourself a new haircut. You could have changed your clothes. Whatever happened for you, there was a massive change. You shed the old self and you embraced the new self. What you're thinking about now is Seven of Cups. You're a little bit confused. Why is this person coming back to me? What's taken them so long? Are they definitely still single? I think they are. Now, I don't know, Capricorn, they may have headed off for somebody else and it didn't work out and they've been going through their phone. Maybe their phone is like their little black book and your name has come up and they've decided, what the hell? I'm going to text Capricorn. But you're a little bit confused. <laughs> Yeah, because Cappy, you thought this was over. I mean, you may not have thought about this person for a long time. It's as if, oh, I thought this was just done. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Because Cappy, they either walked away from you or you realised that this person was wanting something super casual and it just wasn't for you. And so you left it. Hmm. 
What you're realizing now, though, is they want to rebuild the foundation of this. This is not someone casually messaging you out of the blue. They're a bit bored on a Friday night. Oh, I'll just see if Capricorn is still around. I'll just see if Cappy wants to meet up for a drink at some point. No, Cappy, I think they've been considering reaching out for a while. But they haven't had the courage up until now for some reason. So here we have you sat in a little bit of fear, a <laughs> fear that maybe you're going to see this person and old feelings are going to come to the surface. This is someone who is looking at the past, remembering meeting you, wondering what you're up to. With the three of wands, they're thinking of embracing change. It could be they're considering visiting your area for a week or so. It may well be that this is them thinking, I'm ready for a relationship. So Archangel Michael, when do we have the moon and the seven of coins, the seven of pentacles for my lovely Capricorns? Thank you, Michael. OK, guys, I'm hearing mid-July. Actually not. I'm hearing the 4th of July through until the 15th. Um, so it may well be that this is someone who visits your area at this point of time. It could be just for a few days break. Or they may say to you, yeah, I'm going to be in your area over these dates. It'd be nice to see you. But little do you know that they've specifically got on a train or on a plane because they want to meet you again. <laughs> if this person was a bit strategic before Cappy, they may not have changed. But I do feel, Cappy, this is someone who is realizing they do want a relationship. And they've been thinking about you. So let's have a look at their energy. They're sat in the Seven of Pentacles, looking at the past, remembering meeting you. Hmm. Yes, they're going to be sending you a series of messages. What do they remember about Capricorn? Wow. That you made them incredibly happy. This is a beautiful, bright, light, excited energy. You just simply did it for this person. You may have a wacky sense of humour. You may have a beautiful smile. You may have just bounced around with a lot of positivity. They just remember being incredibly happy in your presence. What are they thinking about? Yeah. Capricorn, this is no impulsive messaging. It's not. This person wants to work on a connection with you. I feel this is someone who's moved out of the energy of let's just have fun. And then now looking back at the people that they've met, maybe it's a safety thing, a familiarity thing. But this is someone who is definitely wanting to reconnect with you. What's on this person's mind? Yeah, they're looking back and realizing there was a reason why you two met. For some reason, they've got you on their mind. They don't quite know why, but they may be feeling Capricorn that they just want to revisit the connection. Let's just see how I feel when I see Capricorn again. How are they remembering you? Let's just see, Cappy. Yeah, stable, grounded. You got your head screwed on, Cappy. This is you independent. This is you knowing your own mind. This is you potentially concentrating on your financial foundation. They may be looking back thinking, what did I do? Capricorn was a complete catch. But because I was in a place in my life where I didn't want anything serious, I kind of screwed it up. That's what I'm getting here, Caps. Yeah. Hmm. What are they thinking about? Oh. Wow. OK. They're thinking about you. I'm sorry, guys, you have to cope with the devil card, but they're thinking of you. They may be a bit obsessed with you quietly. <laughs> um, This could be somebody who actually realizes that they did have feelings for you, but maybe they didn't show them in the past. So this could be a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. OK. Now, this could be a feminine, saline and masculine. Take it as it resonates, guys. 
But I feel as if we have two people here who at this point of time are definitely thinking of the other. Four of Pentacles. This is someone who simply can't release your memory. Now, Capricorn, you're sat there reading this text thinking, blimey, that was a while ago. I don't know if I've got feelings for this person still. I don't know if they're single. I'm not sure that this is a good idea. You're a little bit nervous. You're a bit nervous, Cappy, but how are you feeling? Yeah, this might be a bit of a shock. <laughs> Tower. Um, You're not going to expect this at all. Aries, Scorpio energy. You may feel that it's justice that this person's coming back. Maybe they now want to do the right thing. Or you could be thinking, tower moment, oh my gosh, this person has probably got married and got a bit bored and they're now running after me again. You're wanting to find out more about them. For sure. How do you remember this person? very attractive whoa capricorn very attractive somebody who just goes to get what they want what are you thinking about <sighs> two of swords you are contemplating saying to this person i'm so sorry you know nice to hear from you but um i'm not around over that period of time letting them know politely that you're not interested but why do I feel you're not going to do that? <laughs> I don't think you're going to do that, Cappy, but you may, again, I'm hearing the word sleep on it. You may give it 24 hours and then respond. Yeah, you need 24 hours. You want to think about this. I mean, it's not as if it's a massive deal, but Cappy, this person may have hurt you in the past. Or it may well be that you simply haven't seen them for quite a long time. You just want to gather yourself together. What do you remember? Oh, okay. Cappy, that's why you want to be sure this is a good idea. Because you did actually fall in love with this person. You did. You may not even have recognised that emotion in the past. But looking back, Capricorn, you may have fallen for this person. And when it didn't work out, you may have been really disappointed. Let's have a look, guys, at the energy you two are carrying for this connection. Yeah. The feelings are still there, Capricorn. And you may find this person apologises to you pretty quickly when they first meet you again face to face. Oh, Capricorn, I'm so sorry about the past. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I did that. They may say to you they were just in, you know, a playful frame of mind, but they realised they hurt you. They may say to you that they really weren't interested in commitment in the past, but now they are. I think, Capricorn, you're going to give this a shot. Why do I feel that? Maybe you do realise this person has shifted into a much more mature energy. You are looking at the Ace of Cups. You're very conscious, Capricorn, to sit in self-love, a lot of self-respect, okay? And along with that, self-control. But you're also realising emotions are coming to the surface again. You may look at this person and think, wow, I remember how I felt when I met them. I'm still attracted to this person. And if they're now moving towards you, Capricorn, wanting something more serious and you're both single, you may think to yourself, well, why not? Maybe I should give this person a chance. Yeah. So here we have you looking at the Ace of Cups, Capricorn. What's your energy? What's your energy, guys? Let's have a look. The Queen of Swords. <laughs> I don't think, Cappy, you're going to lay your heart on the line. I think you may be reserved with this person, a little cautious. 
you're going to let them do the talking. I think you're going to sit and listen. Cabby, if this is a first date after a while, you're just going to size this person up. If you're going out to a bistro or something like that, you may watch how they treat the waiting staff, right? If you're anything like me, you can't stand somebody who clicks their fingers at the waiter. It's just so demeaning. But anyway, you're going to size up this person and uh, make your own conclusion. How are you going to be feeling when you meet up with them again? I am getting a sense of, oh my goodness, I still find them really attractive. And for some reason, Capricorn, you may not want to feel that way. <laughs> you may not want to feel that way. Yeah. You're going to remember the passion, the chemistry. It's all going to come flooding back. And what you're going to be thinking about is it's going to be really tough to keep my distance. What are you thinking about? <laughs> Could be a Gemini. I don't know. Yeah, Knight of Wands. There was an unmistakable electricity between the two of you. It was tangible. It's crazy. And you're going to be in your head a little bit, Cappy, as to what you want to do about this. Because this is either a situation where you say to this person, look, it's been great to see you again. I'm so glad you're well. Thank you for getting in touch and then leave it at that. Or Capricorn, you'll find yourself putting dates in the diary to meet again, realising this could actually go somewhere. You're going to be in your head. What do I want to do? Because it's going to be very clear that this person wants to make something of this. What are you two going to be discussing here? <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. What happened in the past? Why it ended? This person may be a bit mortified if they walked away from you. Um, you may say to this person, yeah, I was a little bit naive in the past. Mm -hmm. Now I look back and realise that's all you really wanted. But Cappy, I'm not getting a really difficult, stressful, painful conversation. I feel you may even be amused looking back. Wow, I really believed that you wanted something serious in the past. You may even laugh about it. This isn't you meeting this person and going home in floods of tears. Oh my God, they broke my heart. No, because to be honest, I don't think you guys knew each other that well in the past. I mean, it could have been even a one night stand. And yes, you may have hoped this would move forward into something serious, but it didn't. So you guys are going to discuss the past. And you may even be, you get to know this person at a deeper level. How are they feeling about you? Okay. <laughs> Capricorn. Um, I think that they're going to realise you're the one for them quite quickly after the second meeting. This is you reconnecting. They see you making them incredibly happy. So it might be a bit of a shock for both of you to realise that this could actually work out now. It couldn't work out before. This person wasn't in the right frame of mind. They weren't in the right place in their life to be serious with you. And I think you might have had to learn some lessons and put up boundaries and sit in self-respect and all that sort of thing. Now seems to be the right time for you two to come back together again. And I feel with the Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Coins, this is someone who is looking at you a little bit differently now. Maybe with a lot more interest. What is going to happen between these two, Michael? Temperance, sad energy. I think, Capricorn, this is someone who just wants to take their time. No rush. And you being an earth sign, I think you're going to be very happy with that. What they want to do is get to know you all over again. After maybe a rather painful, fleeting connection in the past. 
How are you feeling happy at this point? Yeah, you are seeing things from a different perspective. What you're realising is neither of you were ready in the past, but maybe now, with both of you in different mindsets, ready to look at this seriously, this could really work. This could work, Capricorn. Ace of Coins. There may be a chat about the distance involved. You two may live in different areas, you know. Are we happy to date at some kind of distance? It may well be Capricorn that what you find is that this naturally turns into quite a serious dating scenario without you realising it. I don't think there's going to be any awkward conversations about, well, is this exclusive? Is it not? Are you dating other people? Are you not? Because both of you are going to feel the same way. There's going to be no game playing. There's going to be no sort of furtive checking out this person's social media. Who are they connecting with? No, Capricorn, because it's going to be pretty clear, pretty evident that this person doesn't actually want to date anyone else. And I think at this point, which could be a few months later, you're feeling exactly the same. Yeah. Anything else, Michael? Knight of Cups. This may evolve quite quickly in terms of emotion, but I don't think you guys are going to sort of run away with this because you don't want it to burn out. So I think this is both of you consciously wanting to take it quite slowly. But I have to say, Cappy, I think both of you are going to feel quite a lot of emotion for each other quite quickly. Even though you're going to hold yourself back from moving this forward into something too serious too quickly, um, those emotions are going to be there. Hmm. Yeah. Hi, Priestess. Capricorn, it's going to be sort of unspoken that both of you want this. Neither of you are seriously interested in anyone else. I don't think you'll need to have a conversation pertaining to are we definitely together as a couple? Because I think you're naturally going to fall together as a couple and not want to be with anyone else. Hmm. Beautiful reading, Capricorn. Six of coins. I also don't think, Capricorn, there's going to be a sense that one of you is putting in more effort than the other. I think it's going to be completely mutual, which tells me that despite how you feel when you first meet this person again, after a couple of dates, you're both going to realise you really want this. You really want this to work. This is equal give and take. Okay. Wow. So my beautiful Capricorns, um, I'm going to leave the reading there. I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, let me know if this is your story. Take care of you. And of course, I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. See you soon, Kathy. Bye now.